Hello and welcome back to Football Daily. Today we are looking at 10 of the World Cup's most devastating injuries. 10. Michael Owen Ballon d'Or winner Michael Owen was once England's youngest player to play at a World Cup when manager Glenn Hoddle gave him a call-up for the 1998 tournament. He was rewarded by becoming the only player to score in four major tournaments for the Three Lions. In 2006, England were prepared for a strong campaign with the Newcastle striker the most senior forward. With Alan Shearer retired and the only other options being a 17-year-old Theo Walcott and a 20-year-old Wayne Rooney, the pressure was on. Owen started very strongly and recorded his second international hat-trick in a friendly against Colombia and finished qualifiers scoring five goals. Mike Owen, however, started the tournament poorly, failing to score in England's first two games. During their third game against Sweden, Owen badly twisted his left knee after just 51 seconds and was forced to leave the game on a stretcher as the England fans looked on in disbelief. A scan later revealed that the striker had torn his ACL in his knee. Doctors described this as a career-threatening injury and he was sidelined for a whole year. Owen later revealed that this injury almost ruined his whole life. The striker picked up multiple ligament issues after and with England failing to qualify for the 2008 Euros, he never managed to represent the Three Lions in a major tournament. He finished his time at Newcastle scoring just 24 times in 83 appearances, a poor return for the once lethal forward. 9. Luis Montez The story of this little known midfielder begins in 2014 as Mexico prepared for the World Cup Finals. Luis Montez received his first call-up by the national side by manager De La Torre. A dream come true for the 28-year-old who never expected he'd feature at his age. In one of their last friendlies before the tournament against Ecuador, Luis got off to a dream start, scoring an absolute screamer and giving Mexico the lead. However, his dream later turned into a nightmare when he challenged for a loose ball with defensive midfielder Segundo Castillo. Montes came out of the tackle writhing in pain and clutching his lower right leg. All the players on the pitch were devastated and some were even in tears as the doctors saw to an agonised Montez. The Mexican was stretched off and it was later confirmed he would miss out on the World Cup. He fractured both his tibia and fibula and was out of action for seven months. In fact, the collision was so horrific that Segundo also missed out on the tournament. The 32-year-old Castillo suffered a torn ACL and like Montez feared he would never represent his country at a major tournament again. 8. Marco Reus Marco Reus is one of Germany's most respected footballers, not only for his bewildering loyalty to German giants Borussia Dortmund, but his overall attitude and commitment. He made his international debut in 2009 for the under-21 side and got his first team call-up a year later. He established himself as a regular in Lowe's Germany side and in their 2014 World Cup qualification campaign, he scored five goals and registered three assists in just six matches. Everything was going perfectly for the midfielder until their final warm-up game against Armenia three weeks before the tournament began. Royce went in to retrieve the ball from his opponent, but was instead clattered. The Armenian Arta made contact with German's ankle instead of the ball. The German midfielder was in clear agony as he punched the floor in frustration. He was carried off and it was late confirmed he sustained a partial tear in his ankle ligament ruling him out for the tournament. Deutschland went on to win the 2014 World Cup making it a bittersweet feeling for Marco as he was forced to watch the celebrations from the sideline. He has only ever started one game at a major tournament. 7. Santiago Canizares This is probably one of the strangest injuries you'll ever hear about. Spanish goalkeeper Canizares was Spain's first choice keeper heading into the 2002 World Cup, the first time being number one at a major tournament in his career. Before, he had only been second choice goalkeeper and his only rival for the number one shirt was none other than 21-year-old Ica Casillas. A week before the tournament, the 5'11 stopper had a freak accident in the team hotel. Canizara severed a tendon in his right foot after he accidentally smashed a bottle of aftershave and a shard of the glass penetrated his toe. The 32-year-old was then rushed to the hospital where he underwent emergency surgery. Santiago was dealt a huge blow when the doctor indicated he would be immobilised for a month before starting rehabilitation. He missed out on the World Cup and the young Casillas replaced him. Unfortunately, that was the only time Canizares was granted a first team opportunity, making only one more appearance for Spain again in his career. 6. Didier Drogba Possibly one of the best African strikers ever, Didier Drogba had an illustrious career, winning everything at club level including four Premier Leagues, 
and one Champions League. He is also Ivory Coast's top goalscorer with 63 goals in just 104 appearances. After leading his country to their first World Cup in 2006 as captain, Didier was under a lot of pressure coming into the 2010 tournament. He was, however, in good form at club level, scoring 37 goals in just 44 games, helping Chelsea secure the double. In a friendly against Japan in preparation for the competition, Drogba collided with player Tullio, landing awkwardly on his arm. He was in agony and was substituted after just 90 minutes. Scans later revealed that the Ivorian had broken his arm, along with his nation's heart. He had an emergency operation the day after in hope of making the World Cup. The surgery was successful and FIFA confirmed Drogba could play in the tournament with a cast on. Although they went out at the group stage, Ivory Coast's main man was still able to score against Brazil, becoming the first African player to score against them in the World Cup Finals. 5. Ronaldo Ronaldo was arguably the best footballer in the world when entering the 1998 World Cup. Having scored 34 goals in his debut season for Inter Milan, at the tender age of just 21, the hopes and dreams of his nation rested on his shoulders. Ronaldo did not disappoint, recording four goals and one assist in the tournament, leading his team to the final where they faced European giants France. Brazil were clear favourites as they had a squad including megastars Dunga, Roberto Carlos, Cafu and of course the on-form frontman. It was a surprise to the Brazil faithful when the golden boy was not named on the team sheet for the final. According to reports, hours before the final, Ronaldo had suffered from a convulsive fit. Desperate to play, the striker pleaded with head coach Mario Zagallo to start him and ultimately succeeded. Ronaldo was noticeably not himself and France went on to beat Brazil 3-0 to gain their first World Cup and hand Brazil their biggest defeat in the competition. Well, until 2014. Four. Wayne Rooney England always fell when it comes to major tournaments. Since the 1966 glory, the Three Lions haven't even made it past the quarter-finals. Shocking from the nation that invented the sport. In 2006, England had some renewed hope when 20-year-old Wayne Rooney was having an astonishing season, scoring 16 goals in just 36 appearances for Manchester United. The striker was tipped to be top goal scorer of the tournament and was the main reason England were amongst the favourites. In a league tie against bitter rivals Chelsea, Rooney was challenged by a defender Paulo Ferreira and although it looked like a normal coming together, he was left in agony on the floor. England's most influential player had fractured his fourth metatarsal, almost an identical injury to Beckham in 2002. Although he was ruled out for six weeks, the national side did all they could to hasten the striker's recovery. They even suggested putting the striker in a hyperbaric chamber, but he declined. He then made a miraculous comeback in the group game against Trinidad and Tobago. However, Rooney was clearly not in shape and struggled. England eventually got beaten in the quarter-finals and Rooney failed to record a single goal in the campaign. Another miserable tournament for the Free Lions. 3. Gibral Cisse The French striker is no stranger to bad luck. He began his career at AC Arellas before moving to Oxo where he recorded 90 goals in 166 appearances earning the biggest move of his career when he was bought by Liverpool in 2004 for £14 million. He got off to a terrible start on Merseyside, playing just 14 games before he suffered a horrendous injury, getting his foot stuck in the grass and somehow breaking his tibia and fibula in the process. The injury was so serious that it was thought that his leg might need to be amputated, but he managed to return to fitness in record time, helping Liverpool win their historic fifth Champions League title in Istanbul. The next season, Dribble was on hot form ahead of the 2006 World Cup, scoring more goals in qualifiers than Thierry Henry and David Trezeguet put together. Heading into the tournament, it looked like Cissé would be leading France's front line until their final friendly against China. Cissé was on the receiving end of another bad tackle and twisted his leg while falling, breaking his right foot this time. He was ruled out of the competition and thanks to Zidane seeing red, France crashed out of the tournament. Two. Patrick Battiston Patrick Battiston had a great career, winning the French League on five occasions and also being a part of the France national side that won the 1984 European Championship. But two years earlier, Battiston made the back pages for different reasons when Les Bleus faced off against West Germany in the semi-final of the 1982 World Cup. With the game tied at 1-1, Battiston came off the bench and just 10 minutes after being introduced, found himself with a golden opportunity 
one-on-one -on -one with German keeper Harold Schumacher. The France international was clattered by a charging Schumacher who hit Baston like a torpedo. Batterston was left on the floor unconscious with his teammates and fans looking on in disbelief. After he was stretched off, it was confirmed that he had lost two front teeth, had three broken ribs, a broken jaw and serious damage to his vertebrae. To make matters worse, France went on to lose that game with the German keeper showing little remorse. On being told the extent of the injury, he simply said, I will pay for the crowns. The incident is known as the tragedy of Seville and Batterston was left with permanent damage to his spine. 1. Neymar We head back now to the 2014 World Cup where host Brazil had put all their hopes into Brazilian magician Neymar. He was tipped to lead their country to international glory and with a decent first season at Barcelona before the tournament, the stage was set for the youngster to impress. Even with the weight of the world on his shoulders, Neymar did not disappoint, scoring four and assisting one in his first five games. The Seleção looks set to make their first semi-final since their great side of 2002. In the quarter-finals, they came up against their South American rivals, Colombia. And James Rodriguez, who had also had a similarly brilliant start to the tournament, netted five goals, including a wonder strike against Uruguay. The game was far from glamorous, with 54 fouls being committed, the highest count in the tournament. But Brazil found themselves 2-1 up with just three minutes to go. However, the game's worst challenge was yet to come, as Juan Zuniga found himself on the wrong side of Neymar and kneed him in the back during an aerial duel. Neymar was in tears and was stretched off the pitch. Although they had won the game, the loss of their superstar had the crowd stunned. It was later confirmed that Neymar would miss out on the rest of the tournament, fracturing a vertebra in his spine, an injury which could have ended his career. Brazil went on to lose 7-1 in the semi-final to eventual tournament winners Germany, their worst defeat in World Cup.